Hey, what is up guys? It is Slickmoff here. I'm back again with another video. And if you've been following this channel the past few months, you know that a Batman video game has been leaked very extensively to be in development right now at WB Game Studios. Also, WB Games Montreal, the creators of Batman Arkham Origins from 2013, are creating two DC titles. That is official confirmation, whereas the Batman game is simply leaked news and information and that sort of thing. In regards to the two DC games, the Batman one has been leaked the most extensively. Moreover, recently leaks have emerged from varying sources confirming a Suicide Squad game is also in development as well. I wanted to talk about the Superman game, which was leaked even longer ago. If you recall, there was images that were allegedly leaked from the game, and I want to talk about where that went, because as it appears right now, WB Games Montreal is developing a Batman game and a Suicide Squad game, and the confirmation of Suicide Squad 2 seems to really alleviate some of the concerns that I had as to how that game could be, you know, non-existent essentially, because if we consider it, I thought it was weird that the Suicide Squad game, okay, it's going to come out a year or two after the movie, it seems like a weird time to market it, but in actuality, it's probably going to fall right in between the first film and the second film, and the Suicide Squad is an incredibly popular property. It's one of the best-selling Rebirth series, and right now is the beginning of the Justice League vs. Suicide Squad Rebirth series um, crossover event, the first big crossover of Rebirth, so DC clearly has a vested interest in the Suicide Squad and WB Games might as well. So that's the way that I'm looking at it. In regards to the Batman game, I'm even more confident that that is in development as well. So the Suicide Squad game was leaked over a year ago. I reported it and made a video on the Reddit post that came from an individual that not only claimed to have details about the game, but also was just compiling a series of evidence, a ton of evidence. It was a 20 minute video that I made. There's a ton of convincing evidence that the game is in development, but as it appears now, the game may not be. I wanted to give my thoughts on this and what happened to the game. And one thing that I did here is that the Suicide Squad game, excuse me, the Superman game, was actually in development at WB Games Montreal. It was in early development, but from my understanding, from what I've heard, it is not anymore. However, it is true that WB Games Montreal at one point was working on a Superman game. And much like the leaks have suggested that potentially the Suicide Squad game was tag teamed or sort of helped with Rocksteady, and keep in mind that Rocksteady technically helped with Batman Arkham Origins as well, so to what degree they helped, I really don't know, but that's what the the leaker that was confirmed by NeoGAF to be a legit source has said that was vetted by NeoGAF, and that individual claimed that the Suicide Squad game had some assisting development from Rocksteady. What I think may have happened is that we have a sort of flip of that role here, and WB Games Montreal began working on a Superman title. I don't know if they ever had the intent of actually finishing it, but rather building that game and starting that game while Rocksteady was working on Batman Arkham VR. Batman Arkham VR was a big sort of tentpole thing. It had to be done by the time the VR uh, console or system was released for the PlayStation 4, and Rocksteady got a big lump sum payment for actually working on that title, and PlayStation Sony, as I assume, essentially paid them to simply for making the game exclusive only on PSVR, whereas they could have put it on Oculus and other systems that are actually more powerful and look better than the PSVR, but um, they were not permitted to do so, and they had exclusivity for that. So the game was specifically developed for PSVR. My point being is that over that year, and that year was, may actually end up being detrimental to the release of Rocksteady's next title. And there's something interesting about that, because Rocksteady has always said that their dream game is a Superman game. As if they would ever make it, they honestly were unsure. And even then, at the end of Batman Arkham VR, they did an interview, and they said that they're not even sure what their next title is. Is that necessarily the truth? And here's the thing that we consider about this. So WB Games Montreal was working on this Superman game maybe for almost a year. And they began working on maybe some fundamental code, some story ideas, some character models, and, you know, nothing too in-depth, but really building the blocks up for this game to you know, be it revved up in development. And since Rocksteady is such a small studio, it seems as though maybe WB Games Montreal was doing a lot of the early dirty work for the Superman game, and the torch is now being passed to Rocksteady. Because if there's anything I can tell you, is that Rocksteady is most definitely not making a Batman game. That is a thousand percent. As far as I'm concerned, you know, it's black and blue there. I really do not feel that they are making a Batman game. I think they're definitely done with the series, and the Arkham VR was sort of their last gag out of that franchise. As if WB Games is never going to publish a Batman game ever in the history of ever. 
That's certainly not true, but I think Rocksteady is genuinely done with the series, so that's something worth considering. This really does work out, not only in the timeline, but also in what the leaks have suggested from the Superman game, and when it was in development, and what we're getting now from WB Games Montreal. It also explains the big gap that we've had at the studio, where it has been three years since their last title, and we still don't have a game announcement, meaning that their next game is maybe not going to come out until late 2017. What that shows is that it really makes a lot of sense as to why this gap exists and why it's been so long since we've had a confirmed game because most studios won't go more than a year without announcing or two what their next game is going to be. And it really does make sense because they're working on this game that they never were intent upon publishing and that is a Superman game, really building the game up and starting to work on it so that Rocksteady could roll it in development and rather than taking five years to make a Superman game, which I really feel that it would if Rocksteady got no help on the game, it may take about three and a half for four now and that's still a long time i still think their game is not going to come out until 2019 um or 2018 if we're really really lucky but i don't think it'll be that early and the thing about rock city is they are a small studio 120 employees however they make games fast batman arkham city was made in less than two years so rock city can pump out a game but if they're making superman not happening because they had the code for batman arkham right and a Superman game, if Rocksteady's doing it, and they're doing it right, if they're doing it, that means they're building it from the ground up. But what I'm saying is WB Montreal might have helped them out along the way. So let me know what you think about this theory, that a Superman game that was leaked a long time ago, it's not gone, it's just been transitioned, right? And maybe to better hands. Rocksteady is a proven developer. They're the best comic book video game developer, in my personal view, that we've ever seen. Um, and that's something that we can really appreciate with the Batman Arkham games, and I really think, as much as I would like to see a Superman game just from any developer, in terms of WB Games Montreal or Rocksteady, if I had to pick, even though Rocksteady is a significantly smaller studio, I would prefer to see the game from Rocksteady Studios, and I think that they could really put the level of appreciation and character... Um, fandom that I really saw in the Batman Arkham games. I really do believe the Batman Arkham games is the best portrayal, mainstream media portrayal of Batman that we've ever seen, excluding the comics, of course. And that includes the animated series and, you know, The Dark Knight from Christopher Nolan and all that sort of stuff. I think that the, the, the Rocksteady games supersedes all of those. And that's something that is really commendable the way that I see it. And they're such fans of the characters, they're such a big, you know, they're DC fans really at heart, the way that I see it, and then from Septon Hill and Gaz, for everyone that I've seen, they're big DC fans, and that can really translate well, and if you have the heart for the characters in your own heart, then I think you can really translate that into a game, and you can lay off that passion that you have for these characters. And I feel that WB Games Montreal is doing a passion project of their own, and from what we've heard of the game, of a Damian Wayne game that has all these obscure villains that a lot of you maybe heard of, never heard of, like White Rabbit, that really they're doing something that they feel passionate about. They wouldn't do so because some corporate executive is like, hey, do this. Now, some corporate executive may have said make a Batman game because if we have Batman in the title, we make money. That's maybe true. But in terms of the story that the pitch of what I've heard of the game, it's definitely not something that some exec is breathing down their neck about how like, oh, yes, Damian Wayne, that's what all the fans want. That's what's really going to drive the, the sales because... Nobody asked for a Damian Wayne game. Just saying. But that doesn't mean it's going to be bad. It, it, it really is just something that nobody really thought of, right? I certainly didn't think so. But anyway, that's a whole side topic. I really do believe that the Superman game could come to fruition in the next half decade. I say half decade because literally, if this game is real, it's going to take forever. It's going to be a gazillion years until we see it. It's not coming out next year. It's not coming out the year after that. And, you know, The Last of Us 2 is already going to be out. And then, like, maybe they'll announce it if that's the case. So it really depends on what the direction they're doing. I can't wait to see what Rocksteady's working on. And if I'm betting money on it, it is a Superman game. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. My name is Slickmoth. I'll see you guys in the next one.